Hi, I'm Andrew Grove, the Managing Director and CEO of Aura Energy, an Australian-based minerals company with major uranium and polymetallic projects in Africa and Sweden. Our purpose is to develop minerals and metals for a cleaner energy world while respecting, listening to and creating value for our host nations, local communities and shareholders. With this purpose, we are proud to be driving forward one of Africa's most promising uranium ventures, the Tiris Uranium Project. Tiris is located in northeast Mauritania with a well-established, sizeable mining industry and a favourable and well-administered mining act. The government is stable, democratic and operates under a French civil law system. It has an established reputation for mining stability and security within its borders while being supportive of foreign investment. Aura owns 85% of the Tiris project through its Mauritanian subsidiary Tiris Resources, with the remaining 15% owned by the Mauritanian government. Tiris is on track to commence production by late 2026 to early 2027. Let's explore the key steps in this journey from resource to production. The pathway begins with the development of Tiris's substantial uranium resources. Tiris holds an estimated 91.3 million pound uranium oxide mineral resource with significant exploration potential to expand further within the project and across northern Mauritania, a highly prospective, underexplored and emerging uranium province. Aura Energy is poised to develop a long life operation of over 25 years at Tiris, leveraging first mover advantage in a new uranium province with 13,000 square kilometres of tenements applications covering highly prospective targets. Water drilling programs both at the Tuadeni Basin, 100 kilometres south of the Tiris project, and more locally at the C22 Boarfield have su successfully identified abundant water resources, a critical component for mining and processing operations. This ensures the project's operational needs are well supported. In collaboration with Wood Engineering and our in-house team, both basic engineering, early works programs and detailed project execution are defining the necessary project infrastructure to ensure a seamless transition to full-scale construction in 2025. With over $30 million Australian secured in 2024, Aura Energy is fully financed to achieve the final investment decision, commence early works and continue advancing the project. The project development funding process is well underway with several parties and opportunities to secure the $250 US million funding requirements to develop the project. Uranium mineralisation is found within five metres of the surface, allowing for a straightforward, adaptive and shallow open pit mining method. This process requires no drilling, blasting, crushing or grinding. The mined ore will then undergo a simple wet screening process concentrating the uranium bearing minerals by six to eight times, resulting in high grade concentrate of over 2,200 parts per million uranium oxide during the first 10 years of operation. This is achieved at a very low cost of nine US dollars per pound. The concentrate will then be transported via pipeline to the central processing plant. At the processing plant, industry standard alkaline leaching processes will then extract uranium from the concentrated ore followed by solid liquid separation, ion exchange and precipitation to produce high quality uranium oxide or yellow cake. This proven technology is currently being successfully employed at Paladin's Langer Heinrich mine in Namibia. Yellow cake only has a low level of radioactivity and will be transported under strict international guidelines. At Tiris, the yellow cake will be trucked under escort to the port of Nwashot and from there shipped to international converters, most likely in Europe, US or Asia. With exploitation and environmental permits already secured, along with a 30-year mining licence, mining convention and uranium production permits, Tiris is fully licensed to develop and operate. Aura Energy's environmental, social and governance framework is designed to develop and operate Tiris to the highest international standards and is focused on delivering shared benefits to Mauritania and stakeholders. By late 2026, commissioning activities will set the stage for a steady increase in production, with a target of 2.2 million pounds of uranium oxide per year during the first 10 years. 
and 1.8 million pounds annually over the 25 year mine life. The Tirus project offers considerable potential for expanding both the production rate and the identified mineral resources in the future. Through these strategic steps, Aura Energy is advancing towards its goal of delivering sustainable uranium production and supporting the global energy transition. And with the development of the Tirus uranium mine, developing a substantial new industry in Mauritania, which will have significant positive impacts within the country. For Aura Energy, success extends beyond production. It is driven by our dedication to responsible practices that minimise the environmental impact, supporting local communities and building long-lasting partnerships. 2025 will be a transformational year for Aura and we are very excited by the commencement of the development of the Tirus Uranium Project.